Okay, so you've got new beginnings over here. So you might be starting a brand new job. Uh, the, certainly some choice that has come in over here. So you have chosen or you will be making that choice about making that new beginning. So making a fresh start somewhere else. So big decisions coming in. Make sure you're looking at everything very, very carefully. There is a need for you to do some extensive research when you see the lover's card. So don't just wing it. Uh, make sure that you're in the know when you make a decision and it looks like you're going to be starting something brand new a new project or even a new job there's certainly a lot of truth or clarity coming to light and you do need to be very strategic when dealing with this particular situation so maybe something has come to light and this is the reason why you want to make a clean break and start something fresh now in the past you've got the wealth card over there so money has been coming but coming in but you have been dealing with a lot of greedy people maybe people wanting too much of your time and not paying you enough for your energies that you've been expending now going into the future you've got the destruction and the jealousy card so just be careful maybe the reason why you want to leave the situation make a new beginning is because people around you are pretty jealous and they've been very very inappropriate or they've been pretending to be what they aren't uh, you've got this card of destruction so this is a towel moment coming so maybe you'll have to leave the situation you may have lost your job with this destruction card uh, but maybe you have to leave the situation in, in quite a hurry and there might be some kind of loss that is associated there might have been a lot of drama even uh, in uh, your workplace and maybe this is the reason why you've had to leave it uh, you've had a lot of loss as well so a lot of just devastation going on over there and maybe right now you're in a point where you're trying to pick up the pieces and make a fresh start somewhere else over there there is some kind of big decision that is coming up for you. Uh, and like I said, um, the truth will come to light. Whatever this, uh, whatever's been going on over here with that jealousy card or whatever people have been saying that has caused this, um, you know, this tower moment for you to come in, the truth will come to light. Um, but in, you might need to just walk away and, um, you know, start something afresh. So there's that choice that you need to make pretty soon. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to be using the uh, Renaissance Tarot for the main read. Okay, so you've got the wands cards, the ten of wands, and you can see all these sticks falling on this person, and he's walking away from it. So whatever situation you were in, you had a lot of responsibilities, a lot of burdens on your shoulders, uh, but it seems like they uh, started, uh, you know, people started turning on you as well. So uh, where these were responsibilities, it's almost as though they became weapons, um, you know, and it seems like you've decided to, uh, you know, dump the whole situation and move on because he's on his road on his journey and he's leaving behind the sticks uh, so you're it's almost as though you're saying uh, let the chips fall where they may and I am not interested anymore and I'm about to move on uh, you can see uh, this uh, is the strength card so having to deal with a lot of problems you've got the strength card and the ten of uh, wands over there so it seems like you've had a lot of issues that you've had to sort through a lot of problems a lot of difficult people that you've had to sort through in order for you to uh, you know even make any kind of progress over there so you've been going through quite a bit recently and uh, you know it seems like you've made up your mind that you want to move on you've had enough of everything there you've been looking into a lot of options recently as well with that seven of cups and uh, you know deciding what you want to do so you've had enough and it seems like you've made up your mind and you want to move on now you've got uh, the lovers card over here and you've got the king of cups so there's some kind of offer that has come in for you or will be coming in for you there with that king of cups uh, you know and this could be uh, you know something that you are uh, you know that is really, uh, it, it's got some, uh, some kind of learning or teaching attached to this particular role because it's a Cups card. Um, and you have to make a choice about whether or not you want to make a fresh start in that particular area. So you have a big decision that you have to make. You're really trying to get your focus back again. You can see this um, cherub trying to load that uh, bow. Um, so you haven't made up your mind whether or not where you want to go to or which direction you want to follow. You're trying to find out or find... Uh, um, uh, 
inspiration of trying to find direction in your life right now. So you are at a, a crossroads in your life. You're trying to make a choice of here. It seems like there might have been an offer that comes in or there's something that you're considering at the moment. Um, you could be asking somebody for advice over there with that King of Cups, somebody that you are, uh, somebody is giving you some kind of advice um, or even a shoulder to cry on really. Uh, but you are asking for some kind of advice about what to do next. And this offer might come in for you there. Uh, you've got the moon card over here, so you've been pretty uh, upset about what has been going on, feeling very miserable, maybe even very, very stressed out. Uh, there's been a, a, you know, you're at a low ebb right now. You've, there's a, a, a very low confidence level going on over there. You're feeling uh, almost defeated over here, and maybe this is the reason why you're not sleeping well at night, and you know, you're stressing out about what is to come. So there's the Knight of Wands uh, card over here. So you might be even considering going overseas or doing more travel or taking on a job that requires you to do a lot more travel, a lot more foreign uh, travel, and also even maybe uh, meeting a, a, a lot of foreigners as well, or you know, doing something that's got more international flavor to it, uh, but a lot more freedom. Uh, maybe this new job that comes on offer is going to be something that is going to give you a lot more freedom. Because on either side of it, you've got the sun uh, there, and this is a, a, a child on a horse, and you've got that knight of wands uh, on the horse as well. So it looks like you know moving away from from that old job, uh, leaving uh, that old job to do something new, maybe even uh, you know uh, traveling overseas to do a new job. Um, this is about movement, um, and um, you know maybe even moving to a warmer country really because you've got that sun card over there so starting a fresh job somewhere else overseas traveling to go and do to do that and there's a lot more freedom that involves a lot more travel that is involved with this new job that you want to do now um you've got the hermit card over here so there is a need for you to seek out your answers to uh do a lot of research into what you want to do so before you make that decision make sure before you make you your mind up about what you want to do be well researched about this uh, what is going on um the hermit card is about you will be very very focused on your work because this is a card ruled by uh virgo and virgo is very very work orientated um but also virgo tends to be a, a sign that pays a lot of t uh, attention to detail is very meticulous and maybe this is what you need to do uh, now this could also be about further learning further studying maybe there's a, a course on offer over here so maybe this new opportunity that comes in might be a an opportunity for further learning and then you've got virgo next to it or the hermit next to it and this is about um, you know, maybe doing some further studying, going back to school, um, you know, doing something, a bridging course, something that gets you back in touch with your books. And maybe that is what you're going to have to do. So there might be some kind of offer for you to do some kind of learning course. You've got the um, Ace of Pentacles of there. So this is beginning a, a new job. So you are going to be starting some kind of brand new job. So maybe this is the decision. If you s accept whatever this offer is, you will be starting something brand new. And this will bring in new money. So a new project and new money coming in over here. And it's going to pay off pretty well in the end because you've got the Nine of Pentacles. So it gives you the financial independence, uh, gives you the recognition that you're seeking for, and it allows you to put down roots, maybe even buy a new home if that's what you're after. Um, and you can see this is uh, whatever this, it could be a company, it could be an institution that you're working for. It's something that's been there. Uh, it's been some kind of very well-established uh, um, company or well-established institution that you will be working in uh, and it gives you um, you know uh, you'll be working very independently of everybody else but also getting recognition for all your efforts that you have been putting in so uh, in your hopes and fears um, you've got the eight of cups over here so this is about being you know afraid to actually leave the old and moving forward uh, so the Eight of Cups is about needing to abandon whatever you worked for in the past and making a fresh start, going your own way, you know, uh, walking to the beat of your own drum, really. Uh, so uh, you are a bit worried about leaving and starting off afresh again. Uh, since you have put in a lot of work into this previous job, you are a bit worried about leaving it and moving on. And, you know, um, you're worried that you won't achieve, really. So going to the future, the final outcome, you've got that Seven of Swords over there, the Fool and the World. So the Seven of Swords, uh, just really, you've been dealing with a lot of deception and lies and people cheating you with that, you know, Seven of Swords is that kind of energy that comes through. Uh, you might just need to, um, you know, leave things and walk away. You can see this man's got that flag 
uh, you know, where he just gives up and walks away. So this might be more appropriate for you to just cut your losses. And it seems like there is going to be some kind of losses that come with that Seven of Swords. But you might just have to leave things behind and just walk away. Uh, you know, and this is just to get some peace back in your life. Because you might have uh, you might have a lot of anxiety at this particular moment. Uh, or there's a lot of stress that is coming up with the situation that you are in. And so you might just have to just cut, cut your losses uh, and, you know, um, just take what you can and walk away from this. And make a fresh start. So you can see this fool is taking basically nothing with him he's even lost one shoe so there might be some loss that comes with leaving this job maybe you won't get a payoff that you wanted or you won't get um you know um pensions or whatever that comes in with that particular job but you might have to take that loss take that hit uh in order for you to move forward for, in order for you to have the freedom to do what you want uh, and maybe you know start something afresh start something brand new uh, and you've got the world over there. So this is the fool and the world. So making a complete start, uh, a new start somewhere else. Uh, and leaving behind this old cycle. Uh, anyway, it, it doesn't seem like it was serving you that well. Because there's a lot of problems you can see with that ten of wands. Uh, and it looks like you're going to be making uh, a fresh start with that fool. Ending the cycle completely. And the, the world card is about, uh, you know, Saturn. It's about work. So ending that cycle of work and starting off fresh somewhere else and like I said you might just have to leave uh, you know you might have to leave this job suddenly or very quickly and you may have to leave behind uh, or accept that loss to make that new start again make a fresh start somewhere else and you know you might be starting something where you're uh, going to be doing some further learning and further training but this new job that you are going to be starting is going to bring in the money and bring in more peace this card looks very very peaceful it's going to bring in more peace and happiness for you and definitely give you more independence as well so i'm drawing some cards from the uh, fairy tarot and this is for the oracle reading you've got the temperance card over here so take everybody's input into consideration merge viewpoints to create a better solution Take your time. There's no need to rush. So you are going to be, you are going to need to make a decision. You've got that lover's card over here, and like I said, make sure that you are well researched up before you make any big decision. Uh, look at everybody's points of view first before you make that decision, uh, and you know, don't rush it. Don't be reckless. Don't rush it. Think very carefully. You've got the four of spring over here, so be grateful for all you have. You have much to celebrate. Uh, a contented personal life. So. You know, whatever your decision is, it's going to be, you know, leaving the situation is going to be quite a, uh, a good thing for you. Uh, it's going to, whatever the new job is, um, it's definitely bringing in the sun, so overcoming obstacles, plans that work out perfectly, amazing ideas that lead to rewards and commendations. So there's success coming in with the sun card over there. And the four of spring is also a card of success. You will be working with a lot more people. There's a lot more freedom coming in as well with that four of uh, ones. So whatever this new job is that you're going to be doing, um, it is the right move for you to make because it's going to bring in, uh, um, you know, you're going to be happier. There'll be success that comes in with it and you'll be working with a lot more people and traveling a lot more. Uh, so just take your time when you're making this decision. Uh, you know, be aware, be well researched up. Don't rush into things. Um, uh, before you make that decision and um, listen to what everybody's got to say you can uh, you know there might be some uh, messages coming in from higher up um, you know to tell you whether or not this was the appropriate move for you to make <coughs> so it does look like you're making a fresh start and you're ending things and you're going to be starting something that's going to bring in the money and that financial independence so i hope that this reading has resonated please don't forget to like share and subscribe and thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye